percent of my cerebral capacity. I can feel every living thing. Since when did you start writing Chinese? Since an hour ago. What happens when she reaches 100 percent? I have no idea. And that was a clip from Lucy, starring Scarlett Johansson, the latest action thriller by director Luc Besson. Lucy follows a young woman as she develops into an all-powerful superperson through a twist of sci-fi fate. And joining us from L.A. to give us his take on Lucy, as well as Woody Allen's Magic in the Moonlight, is WSJ film critic Joe Morgenstern. Joe, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Tanya. So you enjoyed Lucy, I take it. I did, much more than I expected to, and it has turned out to be a week that really illustrates the power of wonderful actresses. Uh, Scarlett Johansson in Lucy and Emma Stone in Woody Allen's Magic in the Moonlight. Uh, to put Lucy in some perspective quickly, action thrillers, big scale studio action thrillers have always been the purview of, of, of American films, of Hollywood. Nobody else has been able to do them like Hollywood. The closest anybody has come is Luc Besson, and he's done a couple of really crazed films, La Femme Nikita and The Fifth Element. But what he needed to do a really first-rate action thriller is a terrific leading lady. And he's got her in Scarlett Johansson. She's she's quite amazing. I mean, when you think of what she's done in the past couple of, in the past year, uh, the voice of her, and that's just a vocal performance, but it is the essence of not just a telephone smartphone's operating system, but the essence of a of a beautiful comic. A lyrical soul in Spike Jones's film, and then a really creepy, wonderfully effective film called Under the Skin, in which she plays a, an alien of some sort with a woman's body. Fascinating. And so she really carries this film then? She really does. And as your clip indicated, this is about uh, a, a woman who is pressed into service as a drug mule, drugs explode in her body. She becomes a kind of a super person who uses 100% of her uh, cerebral ability. And I'm telling you, they, the movie uses 100% of Scarlett Johansson's talent. She really validates a lot of deliciously silly nonsense and, and, and makes you care about it. I love it. I'm sold. I'm going to rush out and see it this weekend. And Joe, you, <laughs> also, <glad> reviewed, you, <laughs> you also reviewed Woody Allen's latest film, Magic in the Moonlight, another film starring an alluring and talented young actress, Emma Stone. We have a quick clip we're going to play. Sophie looked into my eyes and told me things about me she could never have known. I'm told she's very pleasant to look at. She's a visionary and a vision. I'm getting a mental impression. Are you from the Orient? The Far East? Considering you are Wailing Sue, I'd say that's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> you are a very clever little humbug. I think you'll trick me into showing you how I deceive people. And Joe, another delightful performance there. Well, you know, I've, I've had uh, an Emma Stone thing ever <laughs> since I saw her in Easy A, which is a, a not very well known and really underappreciated <laughs> high school comedy. And that's the movie that made her a star. She was breathtaking in it. I mean, if she had been born in the 1930s, she would have been, you know, Catherine Hepburn, Carol Lombard. She has that kind of comic talent. And what do you know, Woody Allen has found the right vehicle for her talent. She plays, the, the period is the 1920s, the place is the south of France. It's all very beautiful to watch. She plays a, an American psychic medium who may or may not be the real thing, probably fake. Colin Firth plays a haughty uh, English master magician who has come to unmask her. And again, what can I say about uh, Emma Stone? She is the real thing. She is one of America's finest comedians. And the idea of these two actresses appearing on multiplex screens in the same week is a 
It's a delicious event for movie lovers. All right. Thank you so much, Joe. You've sent me out to see two movies this weekend. Thanks so much for that. <laughs> thank you, Tanya.